just before the hard winter sets in, it's time for the Dainichi Koi farm to harvest their biggest fish from their mud pond. The brothers Futoshi Mano and Shigeru Mano have been looking forward to this moment all year long. Yeah, big harvest, kind of big, and 75 to 85, about around like uh, 40 pieces. 40? Yes. Big mud pond. Yeah, yeah, quite big. It's a short 10 minute drive from the farm that takes us to one of his grand mountain mud ponds. <laughs> The Danichi Koi Farm is one of the largest koi breeders in all of Japan. Running the farm successfully requires discipline and care. Fortunately, you can leave that to the Japanese, who are known for their hard work. The brothers give instructions here and there to make the work as easy and safe for the fish as possible. The emptying of the mud ponds is done days in advance. Millions of liters of meltwater are drained to special drains towards the great river called Shinano. When the water level has dropped enough, a breeder can start harvesting their important koi. With a polite nod, one of the staff members gives the signal to Shigeru-san to start. After months in the mud pond, it's time to see his beloved fish again. While making our documentary in June this year, Shigeru shows us some of his favorite fish, or as he calls them, his pets. These fishes, and this moment, is an important moment for Shigeru-san. How have the fish grown, and are they all healthy? The work is physically demanding. Large bags of water and the fish are brought by the staff to the big truck. With this truck the fish are transported back to the koi farm. Hunter, the owner of Select Koi in the US and our partner of our channel, can help today with the harvest. He gets a completely free workout from Shigeru-san. でも、その角度だとこうなるよ。これもこっち側に来るの持ってってやった。え、でもじゃあこっちだけ。ああ、そうだ。それでもいいや。よし。よら。
Shigeru is having pictures taken for his company today. I decide to step out of the frame and film from the other side. Each round the fish seems to get bigger and bigger. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? It is breathtaking to see how big some of the fish are. It's not only the length, but also the volume of the fish that makes them so big. It's time to go back to the farm, where we can see the fish up close with our own eyes. Together with the staff, it's time to take a closer look at the harvest koi. Some fish belong to customers and some belong to the breeder. After this kohaku has been measured, it can be photographed and returned to the large indoor pond where it will spend the winter.
Well, we enjoy the fish. I would like to ask you to watch my documentary. I made a documentary in the summer in Japan where I got exclusive access to breeding the koi. I will put a link of this video in the right corner of this video and as an end screen on the end of the video so you can click on it. Please keep watching till the end and if you're not subscribed to the channel I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video, enjoy the last fish and I will see you at the documentary.